Now we might all be familiar with what a meter is. We may even have actually seen some ourselves, but are we familiar with what a bolide is? Well, in this video, I want to have a look at the differences between the two and the similarities as well. But before we do that, let's have a look at what a meter is and the certain terminologies that lead us to calling them meteors, meteoroids or meteorites, which is which. Well, it all starts in space. So you've got objects like asteroids and that, which are orbiting the sun, obviously the Earth orbits the sun as well, but a meteoroid is essentially an asteroid which is orbiting the sun, it's moving around in space, and these are objects that are typically smaller than one meter, so they're, they're relatively small asteroids that are floating around in space. So that's a meteoroid. Now a meteor is one of those meteoroids that has then entered Earth's atmosphere. So if we've ever seen a meteor in the sky, a bright streak, it's as that meteoroid has entered the atmosphere. And that's what it's then called a meteor. Now, any part of that that makes it down to the ground is then called a meteorite. So we have these three terminologies or three names, which is meteoroid, which is in space. You then have a meteor, which is in the atmosphere of Earth. And then a meteorite, if any of it makes it down to the ground, like this one here. So most of these meteors are not particularly very bright. So here you can actually see on the right hand side, there is a cluster of meteors. So this was seen in October 2022 over Norway. And it was a cluster of relatively small meteors. And you can see that they're not particularly very bright. They'll only last for a fraction of a second or a second or so. So if you've ever seen any yourself, uh, it's normally a very quick streak across the sky. And, and that's it really and you can see they just leave a little bit of a streak there and this was a fairly rare cluster of meteors but if you've seen them they'll look a little bit like this they're not spectacular but they're quite nice to see anyway now most of those meteors that are causing those streaks that we might see ourselves or in that one previously are around about pebble size so about a centimetre sort of size is fairly typical for one of these meteors that you might see that might only be a very brief streak that you see in the sky. So typical size, pebble size. Now, this is a super bolide. Now, you're probably quite familiar with this one. This one occurred over Russia a number of years ago, and it was very bright. It was a super bolide, so it's even brighter than a normal bolide. And you can see that it's, it's very, very bright, but also it, you can see it for a long period of time. It's not a very, it's not a brief streak across the sky. It's quite a significant time frame that you can see it. And also it gets suddenly brighter. That's sort of a characteristic of a bolide or super bolide. So what actually makes a bolide? Well, they are, a normal bolide is brighter than the full moon. So they're exceptionally bright meters. They're essentially the same thing. It's an object coming in from space into our atmosphere, but these are much brighter than a normal meteor. So the classification normally is that it's brighter than the full moon. So a meteor that's brighter than the full moon is going to be called a bolide or even actually a fireball. Uh, you may hear it be called that as well. Now, another characteristic of these particular objects is that they can explode or fragment. So if you see a smaller one, you'll get a, a fairly short streak and that's it. But with these bolides, they can actually have a sudden increase in brightness, which relates to them fragmenting or exploding. And you can see from the one that occurred over Russia a number of years ago, that had a sudden bright increase in brightness towards the end, which is where it actually exploded or fragmented. And here you've got a series of images creating an animation that shows the fragmentation of one of these objects. And you can see it breaking up into smaller pieces and that can actually cause it to increase in brightness as well because there's more pieces there that are burning up and it makes an increase in brightness now these objects are typically meter to tens of meter in size so a fairly large boulder maybe the size of a car just to give you an idea of sort of size wise so they're quite a bit more or a bit larger than the pebble size ones that we saw which is why they're much brighter and also Part of the reason why they're fragmented as well, because they actually burn up for longer and they're able to then fragment and, and burn up. Now, as they enter the atmosphere, they're actually traveling at tens of kilometers per second. And when they hit that atmosphere, they get a, is an immense ram pressure at the, at the front of that meteor. That then starts to break it up. And as it breaks up, 
there's more pieces there, which increases the surface area, which then obviously cascades and you get a sudden increase in brightness. So it's not an actual explosion in the sense of like a bomb or anything like that. It relates to the fact that it fragments and then there's because there's more pieces there with a larger surface area, they burn up and you get a brighter or a larger increase in brightness as a result of that. Now, our super bolide, which is the one that we saw um, earlier, these are actually a hundred times brighter than the full moon. So these are significantly brighter than a normal bolide. They're also going to be significantly rarer as well. So the larger objects are very rare, whereas the smaller ones, like the pebble-sized meteors, you'll be quite uh, be quite easy to see those. Whereas a super bolide, they are going to be very rare. Now, thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.